During the first trip to Paris, we saw a father reading to his son in a stroller on the railway Jardin. When the train came, they did not get on. We watched them from inside the car, unmoving and noiseless, but bundled up and looking happy. It was the first real scene of the city, and it ended when they were eclipsed from view by the brick arch of the tunnel as the train entered into blackness. I thought about them long after the image was gone, in the lonely silence of transit, and while we waited on the street in the open evening air outside the bakery, and later in bed in the cold little room on that first night in Paris, when my impression of everything was sharp and new.